And this trial also put a spotlight on the consequences of defamation. Fox 35's Christy Kern joins us live in studio. So, Christy, there's a lesson for all of us here that this also applies to what we post online. Yeah, John Lewin, first of all, it helps to understand what defamation actually means. It's the act of communicating false statements about a person that injure the reputation of that person. And also, secondly, this whole trial is really a lesson on how our words can sometimes have legal consequences. Clearly, whatever actually happened or didn't happen, there was a mountain of evidence that Mr. Depp put forward to establish that Amber Heard's claims were false. To understand the trial, Florida attorney Whitney Bowen says it's important to understand a defamation lawsuit. In order to win a defamation lawsuit, Bowen says the person or business must prove that someone said or posted something about them that cannot be proved, that the person had malicious intent in doing so, and that it cost a person or business money. So how can defamation impact you? And can what you say online about someone or even a business say when you're writing a negative review get you into trouble. If it's a larger company and you go after them online in a review in a manner where you can't back it up and they can show that you did it in a way to cost them business, arguably they could bring suit against you for defamation. But bringing a lawsuit costs time and money, so Bone says it's not exactly likely to happen on a smaller scale, but it can. And she says it's an important lesson for people to take out of the trial. Your words and your actions have consequences. Sticks and stones can break bones, but, but words can also hurt people too. Well, Bone says she often hears from people that they have a First Amendment right that protects their speech. And while that is true, she says you can still be held accountable if you're if what you're saying cannot be proven. Christy Kern, Fox 35 News. All right. Thanks, Christy.